What is up guys, welcome back to another big bad freetography, Urbex Abandoned Adventure. Today guys, I am once again in Gary, Indiana, and I'm exploring the City Methodist Abandoned Church. I'm here with Chris Lockhart, and I'm here with Rhythm Rider. And guess what guys, it's my birthday today. Drop me a happy birthday comment down below, because today is actually Freetography's birthday. Thanks a lot guys. Behind me, I'm not quite gonna show it to you yet, but I'm gonna show you the sanctuary. We're gonna hit this part last, the nicest part of the church, the main reason to come here is to check out this beautiful sanctuary. First things first guys though, before we get going, this is my WowTac A7 flashlight. We're gonna use this flashlight to light up this Explore. So drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this flashlight. This one's pretty good, the, the WowTac A7. Links down below to check out more, learn more about it and to buy it. And uh, that's that guys. Okay, cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. Okay guys, I said I'm not gonna show you the sanctuary quite yet. I'm right now in the, in the main sanctuary. I'm not gonna show it to you. We are gonna go that way. We're gonna explore, we're gonna go all the way to the top. We're gonna work our way down and we're gonna wrap up here. So let's go hit the stairs all the way to the top. Start from the top, let's go. There he is guys, right there. I told you he was here. You got free photography right there. Yeah. What is up, guys? Freedom Rider, what is up, guys? Happy birthday. Dave. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Urbex Day, photography. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to go upstairs here. Now, I'm not going to film because I might fall because these stairs are extremely dangerous, guys. So, I'm going to take the stairs up, see you guys upstairs, and let's get this video started. Guys, check this out. This used to be like an indoor part of the church. This is insane. But look at the detail on the, watch follow along the beams. And then there's a, there's a beam right in the middle that's been spun on a lathe. I don't know if you can see it. There's a couple of them up there. There's one right there that's just sort of hanging randomly. And then the rest of the ceiling, it's all down there. So I'm pretty much as high as I'm, as I'm comfortable with going. The bell tower is up there, but in order to get to the bell tower, I probably have to walk across that, which I'm not going to do. And uh, I could also walk across there to probably get a picture of the sanctuary from up high, but some things, guys, just aren't worth it for the shot. And here. Like, just you can see that there was a fire here. Probably there's been numerous fires in here over the years. Got trees growing. This place, I had to dig up some history on this place. I didn't do any history or research before we got here. I just wanted to get here. This is crazy. Okay, guys, I'm gonna head back down. I'll show you the next level down. Okay, so this place is pretty much a death trap, guys. So we're gonna start, this is where we just were, and I'm making my way downstairs so we're gonna go down here down these stairs here hopefully they don't give out on me and this floor here is just as bad as the, as the top floor we were just on and take a walk through here show you some stuff still got a uh, ceiling in here hasn't collapsed yet got a lot of fireplaces in here everywhere nice light in this place and then this goes oh, see where this goes pretty much goes outside yeah this goes up here the roof is all collapsed I'm not gonna bother with this go here this used to be a gym so that's a basketball net right there so this used to be a gym
All right, guys, now we're gonna make our way another level down. I'm pretty much done on this level, I think. If I didn't care for my own safety, I could climb up on all kinds of shit and get in all kinds of trouble in here, but just not interested in that, guys. I just don't wanna, like over here, I'll show you. I climb up here and right over there is the main sanctuary. And if I wanted to, I could climb. Somebody has set up this makeshift uh, ramp here and I could stand right there and get a picture into the sanctuary. But how do I know that that's gonna hold and that I'm not gonna fall down there? Which I don't want to do so I'm not gonna bother stepping on that I'm sure people have and other people maybe that are better than me have done that but <laughs> I'm not doing it guys it's not worth it for a picture to possibly fall down there and break my legs okay okay so now make our way down these stairs here There's Chris Lockhart right there. What is up, guys? What's up, guys? Dangerous up there. Yeah. Could arguably, arguably be sent for the whole place. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, some spots are obviously worse than others. Like, there's places that you could get some really cool angles and shots, but I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth the cool <laughs> shot. No. Most days. Yeah. Sometimes, but not today. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> the now abandoned and crumbling City Methodist Church is located in the heart of Gary, Indiana. This was once the largest Methodist church in the Midwest. However, it ceased as a place of worship in 1975 after a very brief life of just over 50 years. Anyone who visits Gary, Indiana on an exploring road trip includes this must-see abandoned church on their list of locations. The construction, which started in 1925, took approximately 21 months to build at a cost of $800,000. The first service was held on October 3rd, 1926, and the organ was donated by Elbert Gary, the man that Gary, Indiana is named after. By 1927, the church had a congregation of 1,700 people and a staff of six. City Methodist Church reached the pinnacle of its popularity in the 1950s, with membership surpassing 3,000 people. After the city of Gary, Indiana started its decline in the 1960s and 70s, the church's fortunes began to dwindle. A largely white middle-class institution, the church lost large numbers of parishioners to white flight as Gary's social makeup altered and better off inhabitants moved away. Okay guys, let's move on. And take a quick look in this room here. Just, there's a lot of fireplaces in here, guys. I definitely didn't expect to spend this much time in here. I didn't realize that this place had so much stuff and so many rooms. Okay guys, moving on, let me just get my camera situated here, and take a walk over here, and here you get another view into the sanctuary. This might be a bit safer. <laughs> Look at this though guys, here you can see all the way up the bell tower. Right up there, there's a giant, look at this, they got a giant tarp there for safety to stop all the, the debris from falling and hitting people. That's what that is right there. And you can see inside it, there's all kinds of pieces of wood and debris that have fallen. So that is there to protect people down below from getting hit. That's nice of them. Yeah, I don't know how secure. 
secure this would be for me to stand on it. What's up, guys? It's pretty early. My eyes are probably still watering if you take a look. I probably got bags under my eyes. And my eyes are probably watery because it's early. I had a pretty crappy sleep last night. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It could have been much worse. But anyways, so we're, uh, I'm in the abandoned church. Um, First Methodist Church in Gary, Indiana. And uh, take a look around here. As you can see, it's a, an open air church. The ceiling is now gone. All the windows are gone. That's nice right there, eh? That's nice. So let's take a walk over the, uh, the pit of death here. We'll take a walk around here. Take a step right there. See that, guys? We'll step right there. And then over here. And we're through. We're safe, guys. We made it. Okay, so now we're going to make our way downstairs. Next floor down, guys. Pretty much nothing is safe in here. Now, so now we're going to back down to the main floor. The stairs here are a little unstable, as you can see. Got to be careful step in here. Okay, so we're gonna go here now over here and there's a really cool auditorium over here like a theater style auditorium there he is what is up guys there's Rhythm Rider right there what is it Rebecca's in his face off Chris Lockhart Rebecca's in his ass off yeah Here's the auditorium, guys. Luckily, nothing's fallen on our heads yet. <laughs> There's your stage. Okay guys, now we're gonna go check out the sanctuary. The main part of this church, the main reason to come here. I haven't even showed it to you guys yet. We got a brief look at it during my intro, but now we're gonna go guys, we're gonna check it out. Let's go check out the uh, main sanctuary right now. Oh, death 
trap. Watch this, guys. I'm not even going to show you the money shot yet. That's windy. Ready, guys? Get ready for the big reveal. Look at this. Look at that bitches. hunk of man right there. <laughs> so as you can see guys, it's an open air church because the, the uh, roof is gone for the most part. I was just up there. Let's do a little spin around here. There's the uh, part of the mezzanine falling right down. Where's this go? Hey guys, there's stairs over here. Where do these go? Ooh, this looks dangerous. See this side. Oh. Crime rates in the area soared, causing more departures and maintenance costs were ruinous, owing to the church's huge dimensions and the harsh lakefront climate. By 1923, there were only 320 members in the then aging congregation, about a third of whom regularly attended. After attempts to sell the building to another congregation, the decision was eventually taken to close the church in 1975. Today, City Methodist Church is barely standing, and much of it is beyond any realistic restoration and has been placed on the Indiana Landmark's 10 Most Endangered Places in Indiana. Most of the interior fixtures have been removed by thieves. In 2011, part of the roof of the sanctuary collapsed. In 2014, the city authorities revived an aborted plan from the early 2000s to turn the site into a large park in which the sanctuary would be the centerpiece and to demolish the rest of the complex. This would see the walls and pillars staying in place as a ruins garden, while the gymnasium and the rest of the structure would be demolished. Okay, guys, that wraps this one up. I hope you guys have liked this one. There he is right there, Chris Lockhart. Happy birthday, man. Thanks, brother. Links, his links down below. Stay tuned for his YouTube channel. He says April. 
one day. <laughs> Eventually, he will have a YouTube channel, and you guys are not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned for Chris Lockhart on YouTube, because he's done better shit than all of us, guaranteed. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Rhythm Rider, he's over there making his way down. Take one last look at this sanctuary, guys, before we wrap this video up, because this is worth another look. Make sure that doesn't fall on our heads right there. <laughs> Take one step to the right. <laughs> Rhythm Rider, say goodbye. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment down below. Hit that like button. And again, guys, WowTac A7 flashlight. If you guys have liked it, links are down below if you want to pick it up. Thanks a lot, WowTac. Thanks a lot, everybody on YouTube. Thanks to my friends. Happy birthday to me. Peace.